Hi everyone, Edgar here from ULAP, and in this video I'll be demonstrating how you can use Langchain to talk to your network data. So to accomplish this, we'll be using agents, and agents are uh, an extension of RAG which uses LLMs to reason. Because some queries might require several steps to get the correct answer, the LLM is allowed to reason to generate each step that's required to accurately answer the question. Um, and in this case, we'll be using the pandas data frame agent. So to get started, we'll need to have um, Langchain, Olama, and pandas installed. Um, we'll also need to have Olama serving the misdraw model currently. So we'll go ahead and import our packages. Then we'll load our data. And this data uh, comes from the MACCDC 2012 competition. The data is originally uh, composed of PCAP files, which are then processed through Zeek uh, to generate con logs, and then it's parsed and cleaned in pandas prior to loading it here. Now that our data is loaded, we can see that it's composed of uh, 21 columns and totals around 2.5 gigabytes in size. Uh, one thing that we do here is actually rename some of those columns so that they're more human readable, and this helps uh, not only us uh, with the prompting, but also um, allows the LLM to actually understand what we're asking. So now that we have our data, there are two other things that we're going to need. Uh, one is the LLM, so we instantiate the Mistral model object using this cell here. And then we create our agent, and the agent, when we create our agent, we, get, we pass along the LLM, the data frame, and in this case we've set verbose to true. Uh, which allows us to see the reasoning happening in the back end. So now that we have those three things in place, we can actually start running some queries. So the first thing we'll ask it here, how many records exist for origin IP and response IP? And because we've set verbose to true, we can see the agent executor chain so it starts with a thought, and the thought is it needs to find the number of unique records for both origin IP and response IP, and it can use pandas to count the number of unique records in each column. So then once it you know, produces that thought, there's an action, which is using Python, and then the action input, uh, which is this piece of code here, um, that is the sum of the unique origin IPs and response IPs. It then produces an observation, and then it thinks um, it figures out whether or not that might be the correct answer and then it produces a human uh, readable response which is the number of unique records for origin ip and response ip is 5629 which um, according to this action input looks correct so now we'll go ahead and ask it what the time range is for the entire data set so these are just high level questions here and again, you can see the thought process, you see the action, and then the action input. Um, so there are two things that it's actually looking for here. One is uh, it's taking the uh, timestamp column and then finding the minimum value and then also the maximum value. So you should have two observations. And then from those two observations, it produces this human readable response, which is um, that the entire data set covers a time range from March 16th at 12.30 to March 17th at 12.47. So now we'll ask it to show us the uh, record counts per hour so that we can see the distribution of traffic as a function of time. And as you can see, it uh, isolates the timestamp column. It then looks uh, at the date time value for for hour and then counts those, resets the index, and then renames it from index to hour. And so we can see the hours here on the first column and then the number of record counts on the second. So the another question that we could ask is what um, unique records are within the protocol column? And that's a pretty simple question. So it will isolate the protocol column and then call unique. And then finally, um, we'll ask what are the top three records in origin IP summed by origin packet size. So this will require um, a little bit more reasoning.
And so the thought is it needs to find the top three records with the highest total origin packet size for each unique origin IP. And it can use the group by and some functions. So if we look at the action input here, um, yes, it groups by origin IP, then extracts the origin packet size and sums that, and then, for, and then gives us back the uh, three largest values. So the end at the end of the chain, we see that we have uh, three IPs here, and these are uh, each of these three IPs um, have the total aggregated data that's been flowing through that IP, and this is in bytes. So as I've shown here, it's quite easy to query your network data by having three things. The first is your LLM, the second is your agent, and then thirdly, you'd have a data frame. Now, one important thing to note is that the process is not limited to using Pandas data frames. If your data lives on an SQL database, for example, you can use a SQL agent to produce SQL queries and provide responses. Um, if you have any questions or comments about the video or any of the offerings that ULAP has, please feel free to reach out to us through LinkedIn or YouTube. Um, and if not, subscribe to the channel and make sure you catch the latest video. Until then.